Welcome to another video. This is Reggie, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector. This video is a continuation in many ways of the video that I recently uploaded. Some of the books that I wanted to show you in that last video weren't here or I hadn't picked them up from the local comic shop. Um, and so I want to show you those books now. So the first one is Amazing Spider-Man 799. In the last video, I showed you um, two copies of the regular cover along with some uh, variants. I actually have two additional copies of a 7 uh, 99. That's the uh, cover appearance of the Red Goblin. It's also where um, Norman turns his grandson into a Red Goblin as well. I was finally able to dig in my short boxes and find Amazing Spider-Man 263. This is actually the first appearance of Normie Osborn. It's actually when he was born in the hospital. So he was born here and turned into a goblin here so i actually picked up um this copy of um 263 uh, as part of a collection that my wife actually purchased for me um you guys remember who have been watching my videos for some time know that i was you know a uh, professional a bodybuilder competitive and stopped bodybuilding and so um, one way my wife decided to kind of keep me busy and keep me active was she reignited my passion in comic books and she bought me a collection from a guy gave it to me and then was like hey go organize it and um and uh you know start you know reading books collecting again and so that's what you know restarted this passion all over again but 263 was one of the books that was in that collection and what was great is when she bought this collection for me she encouraged me to take some time to organize my own collection uh combined with this new one and i actually cataloged both collections in excel so when the news broke in 799 i was very easily able to pop open my uh, Excel spreadsheet, do a quick search, found that I had the book, knew that I had it, didn't know what kind of condition it was in, but I knew I had at least one copy. When I dug it out of the short boxes, realized that this book is in incredible shape. Sharp corners, great looking book. I mean, maybe it needs a, a little bit of a press, but I think it's in, in amazing shape. So huge shout out to my wife. Uh, for getting this collection for me because when I jumped on eBay, I was really unable to actually find an affordable copy, in my opinion, right? Um, for you know, this book, I did not want to pay the 30 bucks, the 40 bucks that people are currently asking. Um, so I was thankful to have one copy uh, already in my possession. I did also jump on a couple of websites to try to find a copy of the book. I found one with uh, a distributor, placed the order, uh, the night that 7.99 came out that I actually read it what was that Wednesday night woke up in the morning was driving to work and got an email from the distributor and it basically said your order has been canceled <laughs> and so I sent them a message and was like hey you know so I ordered this book you were sending me this book and now you're saying my order is canceled I need some details as to why the order was canceled so the manager sends me a very detailed message saying that they basically put the book on eBay put it on their own site, someone bought it on eBay, and their inventory management system didn't um, remove it from their site. So super disappointed I wasn't able to get a second copy of this book, but again, very pleased that I was at least able to, um, to find the one. So there you have it. Um, I also picked up today uh, Infinity Countdown number two. I believe this is just a regular cover uh, but a, a pretty nice looking cover there. Um, and I also picked up Weapon H number two. I have honestly enjoyed reading um, this series. I started off with um, Totally Awesome Hulk um, number 22. And that was that was a great read. That was the first appearance of um, Weapon H. And I actually went back because of that read and actually read um, Totally Awesome Hulk uh, from one through 22 just because I, I enjoyed that series and had not really read it before um, and then I continue with you know weapon H uh, number one now number two uh, I watched someone's video uh, yesterday and they were saying that there's like a little um, surprise at the end of this one I think um, the brood are making a return 
Um, and then I think number three will actually be, um, I guess, the brood version of Weapon H on the cover. So um, very interesting. We'll see what that what that looks like. I don't know that I am that familiar with the brood. I think I stopped reading books possibly around the time that they made an appearance. I think Wolverine was actually a brood for a while. So looking forward to um, to reading that book and then. Uh, certainly the future books with Weapon H because I am really enjoying that character. I mean, it involves Wolverine, right? And and the Hulk, it doesn't get much better than that. So to that point, um, I want to show you something I just picked up. Uh, it is Ultimate Wolverine versus Hulk, number one. It is the um, sketch variant cover. And I just think that that is just a really, really cool cover of both uh, Wolverine and the Incredible Hulk. You guys know that they've had some some epic battles over the years. Um, I, th I guess the first was probably um, Incredible Hulk one eighty one. I guess that's like the first the first one is the uh, the regular cover uh, of the sketch variant. Sorry, you guys see some paint on my fingers. I've been painting my house. Um, but that's the regular version. Um, I actually picked these up from a guy on eBay and they arrived uh, earlier today. And then here is uh, number two. It's a pretty nice looking book. And then he included um, some other book in here. I actually didn't even read what the book was um, when I purchased them because I was really buying it for that sketch variant because I thought that was a really cool cover. It's a uh, Marvel Knights Wolverine number 16. And I didn't notice until I pulled it out that it was actually signed. I'm actually not even sure who signed the book, to be honest. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But um, what I'm trying to do is kind of sort of in the in the background, slowly putting together um, a couple of books that um, illustrate, you know, Wolverine and Incredible Hulk's clashes over the years because I think that their battles are just incredibly fierce battles. Um, and so I'm trying to put together, you know, all of these books that kind of um, look at these battles, these epic battles that they've had over the years. And again, I already have, you know, um, Incredible Hulk 180, 181, two copies of 181 actually. Um, and then I was watching someone's video online and they were actually talking about this, this battle in Ultimate uh, Wolverine and Hulk. And I guess uh, the Hulk rips Wolverine in half. So I'm actually, uh, I haven't read it yet. And I don't know if that's an exaggeration, but that was what the person was kind of saying in the, in, the, in the video. So I'm actually looking forward to kind of reading this. But, you know, again, I saw this, this sketch cover had to have it so it was like you know it was a relatively inexpensive book to buy but I want to kind of put together again you know these this series of books that kind of um, show these clashes that these two you know uh, fierce warriors have had over the years I just think it'll be a, a cool thing to kind of um, pull together um, in the last video I actually showed you guys um, Eternals number two which was a story and art by Jack Kirby um, I showed you a full series of, what was it, 1 through 19 plus the annual and then also number 2 that was slabbed. I was waiting for this one to come, which is Eternals number 1. Um, it is signed by uh, Marv Wolfman. I guess he was, I think he was the colorist. Um, but here is Eternals number 1 at a uh, signature series 9.4. So this is a really gorgeous book. I have now um, a slabbed version of one and two and a raw version of one and two as well. So definitely glad to have these in my collection. Um, and again, they're part of the reason why I picked these up. Well, I picked them up for a couple of reasons. I picked them up because uh, Jack Kirby is um, one of the most influential artists in the industry, whether you're talking about DC or Marvel. Um, there, you know, this is, I think, one of the only books, I think, where he actually was the writer and the artist as well. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then there is also the rumor around the, the movie that they may be making for Eternals, uh, very similar to the movie that there's rumored for New Gods. So I went ahead and picked this up for a reasonable price. Um, and again, it's a signature series, I think, um, again, by the colorist. So it was kind of cool to have that. Would have been better, of course, if it was Jack Kirby, but it is what it is. So um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, and again, this is kind of just like a continuation number one that we, we did just a few days ago. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so because I bring you videos like this on a regular basis. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.